It's not about how big your house is. It's all about how happy your home is. So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Tim Crafty. In today's video, I'm going to show you three different ideas that you can turn a waste material into a decor base for your own home. So let's begin with the first project. So here I'm taking a Pringles bottle that is absolutely a waste and also I'm taking a cardboard all you have to do is spray a little bit of water to your cardboard paper and soak it for two to three minutes then when you start pulling it out you will see a beautiful texture coming out something like this and I'm going to wrap it around all the Pringles bottle and secure it with a glue now it's time for an embellishment here I'm using air dry clay that is shape it and also I'm using a silicone mold you can use as per your choice if you wanted the same design you can go and check my description box I have taken all this product from Itsy Bitsy and don't forget to use my coupon code TAMALI5 to get extra 5% off if you buy anything from Itsy Bitsy Now it's time for a coloring. I'm using chalk paint which is giving me a matte finish. First layer I'm using a back color and then I will give it a rusty finish with some green, some blue, some chocolate colors and it turns out beautiful.
I'm also ready to attach a lace. But before that, I want some mossy finish to give it more rusty look. For this, I'm using some embossed paste. It is also from It's a Bitsy. You can completely skip this. You can use a moss color or something like a green color like this. But I love trying out these things. It needs to apply with a palette knife and also it needs a heat air heat okay so I'm using my hair dryer because I don't have the heat gun but when you are using a hair dryer it will take around 10 to 15 minutes to turn this mossy finish okay but trust me it will look amazing on your project whenever you are going to make anything on a max media art you need these things okay And also I have attached a butterfly with the same technique of using air dry clay and a silicone. And I'm going to attach all the things with the fabrical glue. And that is the final look see how you can turn a waste material into this beautiful mixed media art don't you love it let's begin with the second project for the second project, I'm going to use this surf excel container. The shape of this container, I love it. It's something looks like a fancy, you know, flower vase kind of things. So first, I'm going to remove the wrap and I'm going to clean it because it is a surf excel. So some surf excel elements are can be there. So I'm going to clean it first and then I'm going to apply a good coat of gesso or you can use your white chalk paint as well
so after applying gesso i'm going to select my napkin paper here it is i'm going to use this kind of a paper this is a decoupage napkin paper you can get all this product in its a bit i'm going to link the description link on the description below so what we'll do whenever you are going to use this napkin paper or napkin decoupage paper you have to tear the napkin paper with some water okay don't use any scissor because we don't have we don't use that you know smooth edges whenever you will cut it in with the scissor you will get the smooth edges right so whenever we are cutting this with our hand we are getting the uneven edges that is required for the decoupage so here i have to touch this paper with the surface of this bottle so for attaching you need a good quality of decoupage glue here also i am using a it's a bit of product and you have to remove this layer from the back side okay and we are just using the printed layer just see the procedure how i am going to prepare myself and how i am going to start this decoupage always find a curve okay if you find a curve and uh, then you are going to attach a paper on this curve make sure you have teared this paper properly before attaching first you have to check this that your paper is going to touch simultaneously with your base where the curve is basically and then start applying the glue because once you apply the glue you cannot change the direction of your paper okay So I'm applying adequate amount of glue and then I'm placing the paper and also I'm using a dry brush to press it very lightly okay Also if you have any gaps between the napkins don't worry about it because we are going to color it again Now it is finished and after drying I'm going to go with a, another coat of glue You can use any clear glue here I'm using deco magic glue Now it's time for the cladding. Here I'm using a red, white and a black chalk paint. Just follow the design of the decoupage napkin. I'm going to fill the remaining part where I'm not applying any napkin paper. keep this aside to dry and then i'm applying a good coat of glue and finally varnish 
and I'm so also adding some jute rope and a red ribbon just for the fanciness. Let me make the third project. Here I am using a wedding card. I have a lot of wedding card in my home. So I am going to use it and turn it into a beautiful world decor. So what I am going to do, I am removing all the elements and all the paper. And I am going to secure this part with a masking tape. And on the back side which is smooth, I'm going to apply a good coat of gesso and I'm applying my favorite color. Now you can write your own coat. I'm getting this coat from Printrest. You can go and check for the codes that you want and I will show you another different video that how you can you know trace this kind of letters or codes by your own hand if you don't have that printers also. Now do the colouring as per your choice and secure it with a coat of glue and finally varnish. I have made few more to decorate my wall. You can hang this this kind of a plate with a double sided strong tape and also you can attach a jute rope and hang it something like this. And that is the final look. You can see how beautiful it turned out. It doesn't look like a wedding card, right? So here is this all three product. Let me know in the comment sections below that which item you love it more. And if you recreate any of this item, do share it with my Instagram. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.